In this video, I'm going to break down some Keepa charts of profitable products for Amazon Online Arbitrage. We're going to be looking at products that are at profitable prices across the internet. I'm sure you where you're getting them, what we're paying, coupons, etc. that are profitable on Amazon. We're going to break down whether or not I'm going to go ahead and buy them. So if you're watching this, sit back, relax, go grab Seller Amp at Keepa. Let's get right into it. So the products we're gonna look at are gonna make sense numbers wise in terms of I had pulled them up to show you guys what profitable products look like, as well as just kind of breaking them down and more importantly, looking and digging into the Keepa chart and seeing like inside my brain on product research and if I would actually go ahead and buy a lot of these right here. So this first product right here, we can see Yankee Candle, clean cotton, concentrated room, spray three pack. So it's from Walmart, so we know the site's legit, so that's nice, don't have to worry about that. We can see our buy cost is $12.78 right here. If we go over to Amazon, we can see a three pack right here is selling for $27, right? So that beats the one to two rule of our inventory cost to our revenue in terms of what we wanna to be to achieve profitability, right? So if we take a look right here, go $12.78. What's nice is websites do free shipping, Walmart, you can also get sales tax exempt on right here so we can go ahead and plug that in 1278 right here we can see that would make us about five bucks profit right here and looking at the buy box right here we can see this seller is an fbm seller that is on this right so we know as an fba seller we'd probably be able to price above that most likely close to like 2750 28 or even closer to 30 depending like if i were to send this product in I would probably list it around 29, 29, 25 right there and probably get around a 50% ROI with that prime badge right there. If we scroll down on the seller ramp, we actually want to take a look at the competition right here and see a lot of people are actually FBMing this product. Um, I wonder why. Oh, okay, so it only weighs nine ounces. It's actually going to ship pretty cheap as well. So I would even look into, um, look into FBMing this too right here. So if we go nine ounces, we can scroll down on seller ramp to FBM. It's probably going to ship around five bucks right there. So we'd should get a little bit higher of an ROI, but then again, we'd probably sell it close to like 27.50 FBM. So make about a 47% ROI now. Now what some of you guys are thinking, you see that IP suspected on, uh, on seller amp right there. However, that we can see there are other people selling it right here. So that is a green flag because if other people sign, it's a good chance we can be able to sell it too. And if we scroll down here to the Keepa chart, we can actually go ahead and see here that the buy box price is incredibly stable right here so about three months ago the price was like 29 28 and these days it's right around 28 and we can see competition's trended down so this clearly does sell right there were 21 sellers like a week ago there's 17 now there were 18 three months ago so it's basically right around the same thing right there so this is look, actually looking like a pretty uh, decent refund my virtual assistant actually found this right here we can go here go to data and then offers right here and we can scroll over and see people have actually been selling this for a while Right here, so this is looking like a good product, and what's nice is it's from Walmart, so there's a good chance reverse reversing out you might be able to find some other stuff um, right here as well. But this passes the vibe check, it's got a stable keep chart, the profit makes sense right there. We can see other people are successfully selling it, the demand's good, the sales rank's right around 20k right there. We can see on seller app, so this is looking like a nice winning product right here on that. Okay, number two, so green flag immediately on uh, on this product we can see there's a 20 percent coupon on this website now i'm not familiar with this website you always want to be checking out through paypal and check the trust pile to make sure the sites you're buying from are legit right there right but we had a 20 percent off with our email you can set up what's called a catch-all so that's catch a l all one word you can look up a youtube tutorial on it and you'll see how to set up a catch-all to get unlimited emails for this right so at uh, 25 retail, right? And then we're gonna take off that 20% right there. So we're gonna pay about 20 bucks a piece, right? If we go over to Amazon, we can see this is selling right around 40 right here, right? If we plug 20 bucks, I'm assuming they have free shipping right here into seller amp right there, we can see that beats our max cost right there of 22.84, right? And so that's gonna leave us about 10 bucks profit per unit on this, right? Um, however though, in the buy box, you can see Healthy Directions LLC, that is probably looking like it's the exact same thing as that website right there. And then if we scroll down to the keep on this, I actually looked at this one prior right here. We can see that the price is pretty stable right here, but there's not a ton of sellers on this. So part of me is thinking like this might um, be like a private label thing or it might be like unable to get on gates or try to list this um, right here as well. But this is probably something I would go ahead and avoid 
because we can see this has been around forever and look at that really steep drop off right there. So that might be an IP complaint. It is only a few days right here, but I personally don't like these types of products where it's very clear that, that, that like the brand or an exclusive relationship is just selling it if it's really, really stable right there. So this looks profitable on paper, but it's, it's something I'd actually go ahead and stay away from due to that lack of competition and kind of just like if, we can find this, like why aren't other people selling this, right? What are we seeing or what are they seeing that we aren't? You know what I mean? So just to play devil's ad because this is probably something I'd stay away from right here. And just in general with like IP complaints and stuff like that, I personally like to stick to a lot of the big brands, right? They like a lot of the bigger arbitrage brands, Converse, Nike, Adidas, etc. Obviously there's many ways to do this right here, but this is the kind of example where a smaller brand, I would probably stay away for this for that exact reason and just that um, we're seeing not a lot of people on this basically right here, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. On that, I would probably, if I were like seriously considering this just individually, I would go ahead and look up other products in this brand just to take a look and kind of see what the, the vibe is from other sellers on that. Number three, all right, so we can see this guy is 23 bucks right here. Immediately, we are looking on seller amp. We can see BSR is 19K right here. Very good demand, right? We can see 314 estimated sales per month right here. That's good. We can hop over to Stylevana right here and see we can buy this for 10 or nine bucks right here, right? As well, we can go ahead and it looks like sign up for the newsletter, get 10% off, or it's looking like potentially even get a better percentage off using this code right here on that. So we're gonna pay right around like eight bucks, eight ten for this right here. So if we plug that guy in, I'll actually show you guys you can do nine. So you do nine point zero zero. Uh, star 0.9 to take that 10% off right there and sell amp or what you could actually do is go here and Scroll down and hit 10% discount right there And then that went ahead and got that in right there. So that looks good. We can see a uh, nice profit right there on that So the numbers really make sense the velocity is good. We can see that it sells numbers make good sense from a profit perspective Right here if we scroll down, we just want to make sure this looks good over time Right, so we can see, uh, for whatever reason, not a lot of people are carrying this. Probably the kind of thing where there's no variations. So someone had to like scan the barcode on this or replant it. I'm not getting too much detail on that. But we can see the past month or so, this has been a nice product right here. We can see at that 23-ish cost right here, we can check the buy box statistics right there and see that over time it's pretty stable above 25 right there. Um, I would definitely go ahead and like look at the label if possible, make sure everything exactly matches up right here because it's like really good margin on there. Daily Dental Cleanser, 150 floral lines. Yeah, make sure that all correctly matches right there. That's especially, especially important. You got to make sure it's the right product right there. But the numbers definitely make sense. This is looking like a winner right here. And if we were just, you know, reverse sourcing this, we would have clicked here, found it on uh, Google right there, opened it on uh, Stylevana. And there we are right there. So that's totally looking like a winning product and it's looking like probably the kind of thing like this brand might be good from that side as well. A good opportunity to reverse source off this too. Like I definitely wouldn't buy any of these if you guys are watching, obviously, because you know, a lot of people are going to see this basically, but I just like really want to kind of show you guys inside my mind how I'm looking at the Kiba chart and such basically, because I think that would have been really helpful when I was new to see people do that basically. Okay. Number four right here. So this guy, Getting into the shoe world, we can see New Balance 880 V12. We can see it's 105 right here. So we can see our max cost is 62. So if we make 60, we'd make only a, or about a 30% ROI. However, though, shoes have really high return rates. Like people don't know what shoe size they wear, etc. So I would set a minimum ROI with shoes, absolute minimum, like 35%, especially if it's a new lead right here. And we can go over to this website and see it's 70 right here and then we can actually go ahead and save 20 bucks right there or no my bad um there's 20 percent off code um using capital one shopping right there which is chrome extension you should have so i know i'm gonna get 20 percent off right here so i can go 70 right there plug in 0.8 and boom check that out right so the numbers look good because we got a 45 percent roi right here 24 percent net margin which is awesome for arbitrage right there 25 bucks per unit so it definitely justifies doing that basically another trick you can do is open up the web app on seller amp right here and scroll down to the quantity right here and see if you were to buy like seven seven pairs right here you'd see you'd make 174 dollars profit right there so it's a seller amp feature a lot of you guys don't know about which is very clutch for kind of just making seeing if it might make sense from a time perspective on that we can see ip issues suspected with new balance right so we're going to have to check this keep a chart to see if there's any of those really steep drops in seller count 
right here. Now the velocity isn't crazy on this, 44, 48 BSR. And we can see over time, it's not looking like there's any uh, IP issues here and the price is nice and stable. If you see the price super stable like this over a few months, it shows that people are making money. Now I don't think this is selling crazy quick. By any means, we can see it's not going down a ton or maybe people are getting on it the same day right there, but this clearly does drop right here. And you know, if you can sell, you know, five days a month, you just raised your monthly income by a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Like there's much worse ways to make money. What's nice about shoes is they're gonna be other sizes as well right here. So we can take a look and see like really any of these in like the hundred range if they're from the same website or other websites at similar prices and you have moderate sales tax right there, this is gonna be a very, very good opportunity. On, uh, on that. So this is, you know, looking like a nice little flip right here. Joe's New Balance Outlet. One I hadn't heard of too much recently to my VA, I found it right there, but looking like a lower velocity, but definitely something that might make sense um, and be a winning product right there. And then from this, what I would do, go down on Seller Amp and open up all the competition right here and we can see, okay, what else are they carrying? What uh, types of products, what types of brands, categories, etc. You could filter down further to find more items right there. And item number five right here, we can see, so these uh, Puma sneaks right here, $64 immediately in the buy box, BSR 32K, we can see, so the demand's pretty decent. Right here, we can see buy box is FBM right there, which is a good sign as well. And what's nice is so we can see, this seller has 150 in stock, um, not really a red flag, um, but what's nice is because they don't have order limits, we can go down here to data offers and we can probably see how much they've sold right here. Yes, yeah, so we can see 31 sold over time, so we can see, on March 8th at 184, and right now they have 156 right here. So they've sold 31 in the last 30 days, and it's looking like the seller's probably getting, yeah, the majority of the buy box right there. Are other people trying? Kinda, yeah. Right, so I think the price is gonna go down a little bit further on these right here, definitely. Um, in terms of like, might not be able to get the buy box, just looking at how stable the, uh, the price is right here, but what's nice is so we're in at 29 right here. I don't know if there's any coupon codes, on this site, but the margin definitely does make sense, right? It's over 50% ROI. So depending kind of, I'm not sure in this uh, this case, it is a wide size right here. Now, do they have wide? Oh, and it's actually sold out, right? I just pulled this up from the VA spreadsheet, right? So clearly it is good if, uh, if other people are buying it. I feel like this was in stock when I looked at it this morning right here, but the numbers definitely make sense and this might be where uh, SARS are getting. We're gonna go ahead and Google it here within uh, seller app and take a look. Let's see, yeah, 45, it's also a different product right here. So 48, I know Puma sometimes has sales with uh, Capital One Shopping um, coupons. Basically, you might be able to get that close to like 32 right there. And SellerAmp factors in sales tax, ship on Amazon, et cetera. I have that loaded up in my backend on selleramp.com. But this is definitely a decent looking product right here. And we can see some of the other size potentially might be more here as well if you go to the variations right here. But overall, the Keepa chart trumps all and that we can see that this does sell here and there looking at how the competition has gone down in the past just definitely not super often especially being that this is a wide size we're going to see amazon's on this size 11 normal right here which actually at 29 would like still potentially make sense even competing with amazon which we can see yeah see how the buy box and amazon are pretty close right there this is showing that amazon probably does share the buy box right here which let's see if they do all right, so yeah, 57 in the buy box at that 29 cost and out of stock, make about 40%. On that we can see, oh, Amazon does share it a little bit, but the problem is they share it, oh, they've got some at 62, right there. I might hunt around for a size where Amazon hasn't been on as much historically, like this size 10 potentially, right here. Amazon's not currently on it. We can see FBM in the buy box right there, good sign, right? And then we can go ahead here and take a look. Aha, see Amazon not on this much at all. Right now, this has been profitable, you know, pretty much the last year at that cost. So this is a much better situation on this specific size. Right there, so this is, I'd say it's probably winning practice if it was in stock or on another website at a similar price. Right here. So I hope this was helpful for you guys seeing like different profitable product examples right here. If you're watching this, just get in the game. Get seller amp, you can try it free. You know, we'd love to have you as a user. Right there, get Keepa, watch my other videos, and just get in the game. Go take the seller amp app, scan some barcodes of some used books thrift store, OA products, anything you have that's brand new, see what the market's like on Amazon or used books, used electronics, that kind of thing. Hope this stuff helps and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.